Hey everyone, it's Mr. Novak. I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to make a graph using um, the Google Sheets, the um, Google kind of suite of stuff so that you can kind of see this. Now some of you know how to do this and, and uh, for our last lab with the seed germination, we, um, we were supposed to put a graph in there and some of you weren't able to and some of you uh, drew one by hand. So I'll just look at a skill here that might be useful to you. Um, so if you see my screen here, I've got three different kind of data tables. Um, made them up, they, they pertain to nothing. So a um, couple of things I just wanna point out here in this first one, right? We'll call this one number one uh, up here, number one. We'll do this one as number two. And this one will be number three. I'm just gonna show you a few things here. So number one, uh, we have day. And number two, we actually have day as well. So kind of recall, like when we're making graphs, um, anything that involves day or time, minutes, hours, um, you're going to use a line graph, okay? So what I just did, I just typed in the data, okay? So I went to a new Google Sheet, typed in the data. Now, if I highlight all of it, right, click and drag, highlight all of that, um, I go up here, I've got a whole option, I go insert, I want to insert a chart, okay? Now, it's a day, right? So I see they did not give me <laughs> they did not give me a bar or they gave me a bar graph. I, want, I, I need a line, right? So over here, I get to choose my different types of charts. And here we go. Here's a, here's a line graph. So there you go. Now I have my graph made and I should have everything on there, right? So I can kind of look and see, okay, this is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Day, that's on the bottom. On the side, I have 0 to 40, which must mean my population size, Okay. Um, so kind of with that too, we're going to want to label our axes, right? And so you're able to kind of add a label, right? So the X axis, I can add a label. I can call it days, right? And it should add that in there eventually here. Um, and so we can we can add labels and we're going to want to add labels and titles and stuff like that. So um, actually, oops, that's what I wanted to do. Anyway, so make sure you add your labels, days, and then population, okay? And up here, it gives me the key as well. So I'm able to, so over here, it just popped up legend, right? So I can like name my legend and kind of play with that a little bit, okay? I'm going to delete that chart. Uh, here's another one. It's, it's essentially the same graph, except the columns and rows are labeled in reverse, right? So I just want to show you kind of a cool thing here. So I'm going to make another graph, highlight it, insert, chart, and it gives me another bar graph, okay? Now I put species A, B, C down there, right? So again, I can choose then my line graph, right? There's my line graph. The problem is species A, B, C should not be on the bottom, right? Should not be on the X axis there. I really want that to say day one, two, three. So I can scroll down a little bit here and I'm gonna move my face. Now you can see it says switch rows and columns. So if I click that, Boom, it switches it, All right? So if you enter your data um, where the graph doesn't make it how you want it, down here again, switch rows, columns, switches it A, B, C, and now it's day one, two, three, and population still on the side, okay? So that's kind of cool there. Delete that graph. Uh, let's look at this last one. This is highlight this, right? So this is different areas, uh, total species present, it says down there, I know it cuts off, it says total species present. I'm gonna insert a chart, done, okay? Now I've got my bar graph. And you can see total species present down here. Um, totals me area one, two, three. Again, don't love that. I don't want total species present down here. All right, this should just be area one, two, three. So area one, two, three, I just went down again, switch rows, columns, perfect. Area one, two, three, it's all labeled. There's my title, I can change my title and add stuff down there. Um, I just want to show you this is a this is should be a bar graph, right? We do not want it to be oh, chart style. Ooh, that's not it. We do not want it to be a line graph because it's not time, right? Just areas. We're comparing there. Okay. So I do not want it to be a line graph. Definitely want it to be a bar graph. Um, it automatically goes to that. I'm going to switch rows again, and now I'm set. And then I can just copy that into whatever uh, we're doing, right? If it's the, if it's the seed germination, I can just hit there, copy, paste that in, 
or if it's going to be, we're going to have some graphs you're going to make coming up here. Um, you can just copy and paste that in as well. So that is how you would do that. Okay. That's how you make a graph uh, using Google Sheets. If you have questions, let us know. Otherwise, that's what we got. Cool.